Yeah, that, that kind of brings us to the topic that I wanted to bring up to y'all today is the random success of this movie. And I say random, <sighs> rightfully so, because we've been covering this thing for like a very long time. Um, ever since, you know, the first teaser dropped and we were just following along with all of the posts and everything that was happening. And then we get closer to the release and there's like no, there's literally zero promotion, basically. Like aside from what, TV commercials? Like people like myself were doing content off of 15 second commercials and just trying to dissect everything everything out of it and any little difference was another 10 minute 15 minute video and like that's the nature of youtube i'm not knocking the hustle because i'm a part of that but like dude how do you do like look at how they did they, they promoted broly they promoted broly so well and honestly if they were to if they were to mimic anything that they would have done towards the promotion of broly with superhero dude imagine how much more they would have made because as it stands right now and i'm gonna pull up the actual stats the fucking stats right that's brother's favorite stats um dude listen to this and this is off memory right so off of opening weekend alone this movie beat a record that i did not think any film would beat in the anime department it beat fucking pokemon dude the first movie 99 Mewtwo strikes fucking back Mewtwo versus Mew Dude Ash turned to stone Tears Brought everybody back The clone Pokemon How the fuck do you beat that? Gohan? Piccolo? Get the fuck out of here So I was very like I was just shocked Because honestly you know when you look at Japan's numbers. Japan Japan's numbers is like whatever. And you don't you don't really expect, you know, to be too shocked out of that. But guess what? At the same time, you know, every I'm sure everyone was like I I think people were almost expecting for superhero in a, in North America to do decent but not this good. So so yeah, I mean, it's on its way to basically um, to basically toppling Broly as far as like overall sales. And I'm, am I mad at that? A little bit. For the obvious reasons, right? Because it's like, okay, well, first of all, y'all got no promotion. Broly got all the promotion. Broly did mad good. They made, they made, dude, they made Broly such a big deal. Listen, when Brandon, Brandon and I went to New York to watch that shit early... And we saw the fucking marquees and Broly was on there. Goku's on there. I'm like, holy shit, we're making it. We're, we out here. We're eating. Like, Dragon Ball Super is, is here, you know? Dude, the only promotion I saw for Superhero was the fucking posters in the damn theaters. Dude, that makes no sense. It makes zero sense. All right? So check this out. I got the stats right here, okay? Now, after all said and done for Broly, Broly domestically hit $30,712,119, okay? Right now, Superhero domestically is at $27 million. That's very close for domestic. Now, Broly's still in the lead. However, when it comes to worldwide, Broly is still leading, Okay, Broly's still out here with 115 million. That's every part of the world combined that, that got the film. Okay, I will also say internationally, Broly is still shitting on superhero <laughs> internationally. Okay, still shitting on it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the links too so you can see what the fuck I'm, I'm looking at as well. I'll drop them in the chat. So, this is the superhero one right there, and then this is the um, this is the Broly one right there so y'all can see it side by side for y'all you guys have a visual as well and don't worry guys in the chat um i'll of course include these links in the description so you guys can look at this data and there and this is constantly updating right so this is this is actually a website that i was put on 
via one of the Funimation heads way back, which in turn, I put Geekdom on to this website, which in turn, he used in his recent video. <laughs> so I was like, oh, nice. Because I remember one time when, like, when we would, when he was telling me about his Broly stuff or whatever, like, you know, we we're, like, going back and forth talking and everything. I pulled up this website, and he was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, you never heard of this? And I'm like, someone from Funimation showed, showed it to me. He was like, damn, this is dope. And then, boom, now he's not, now it's a staple. It's like one of those things that you're always going to be using, you know, milk in the cereal, you know what I'm saying? So, That's superhero. Is that Oops, interesting, right? Catch. Yeah, I don't understand though. Like, why? Why is domestic? It's why is domestic for superheroes so like close to <laughs> domestic and fucking Broly? Isn't that insane? That's weird. That is very That's weird. Fifty percent, fifty-one percent. Stats. <laughs> uh, I thought that shit was like twenty. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Kai? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He got it. Okay. So. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to point out, and this is also something, shout out to Geekdom, that uh, said this in his video as well. He mentioned that maybe part of the reason why it's doing ridiculously well right now in North America is because they had, you know, like there's two versions. There's an English dub and then the, the sub. But when I thought about it, I'm like, well, Broly had the same thing. So like, what's the big idea, you know? And then, and that, you know what? And, and honestly, like naturally, if you really think about it, that movie or any film, I'm, oh, I shouldn't say any film, but especially for Dragon Ball, let's just stick with Dragon Ball. If, if a movie for Dragon Ball comes out with the, with the legacy that it has, there's no way it's not going to make more than Japan. Why? Because we are a fucking bigger space. You know, Japan is one small ass little country. They might make the shit for themselves, but the second they release it elsewhere else, or elsewhere, elsewhere else, what the fuck? That shit's gonna make bank. And then and then they don't have they don't have English. We have we have multiple versions, multiple like types of ways to see it. They just get to see it one way. I mean I'm I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll have IMAX or whatever. They might have their own 4DX, I don't know. But, you know, on top of all the other exclusive shit, who cares? They should have only standard, because fuck them, right? They held this fucking movie for two months for no reason. I'm still mad about that. I'm still going to be mad about that. Poor, the, the worst marketing and the fact that they literally, in 2022, held that shit for themselves. I will never get over that. That shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my kids' kids that shit. Remember back in the fucking day, don't you forget this shit, okay? I'm holding on to that, all right? But this shit right here is insane. And but I, at the same time, I'm saying all this, right? But I am all like a part of me is very happy that you know, and like Dragon Ball is still carrying the torch. Like if it even like it passed it, it took it back. <laughs> 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 like like with performances like this, it's like dude. The one other thing that I can take away from this is that Toei, Shueisha, Bird Studio, the Dragon Ball Room, everybody involved, they better not fucking act stupid no more. Because these numbers are, this is public information. There is not a single excuse under the sun at this very point that they have to use to try to finagle a reasoning behind a future decision on on a, another dragon ball project later on i don't want to hear it no more there should be no reason why when the anime returns that that shit is simulcasted everywhere at the same fucking time i don't give a shit literally they better not hit us with this oh but you know no no, none of that shit. The next movie better not be like this either. I don't, I don't want, no, no, no. I don't want a week after. I want the same fucking day. I don't want that shit. I might be asking for a lot, but guess what? This shit is how old? 30 fucking years plus or whatever? Come on. This is Dragon Ball, son. This is the shit that freaking pushed and inspired the big three to be the big three. 
that pushed the big three to pu to push out everybody else after that. You wouldn't have no Jujutsu, no Demon, no fucking My Hero, none of that shit. Without the ones before and then Dragon Ball. Okay? Put some respect on these balls. <laughs> 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 Put some respect on these balls. The Dragon Balls. Okay? I'm sick of this. Because, listen, with with a performance oh like this, bro, God. how you kidding? Dude, after a week and change, it's making that much domestically. Shitting on, like, international. Well, not shitting on it, but... Because, like you said, they passed the torch and they were like, nah, give me that shit back. <laughs> Dude, the performance... And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's doing this well, and they didn't care to market it well at all. They did the bare bones, bro. They put they they put they pulled a crunchy roll with Berserk. They literally took the name and they were like, "Yeah, let's make some cheap ass shit." Boom, make some money off of it, of two seasons worth. Let's hire a studio that don't fucking do this shit. But for 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 for, for them, they were like, "Okay, we're making a new movie, but let's just give them commercials." Fuck all this other extra shit. Nah, we don't... Dude, the other thing I wanted to say, right, as far as the marketing goes, imagine, right? You know how when Broly, they had the Bro the first Broly movie in theaters, and then they had Fusion Reborn in theaters. Do you remember that shit? Oh, and, and, and no, the one was a double feature. It had the Bardock John. Imagine if they just... If they had, for the first time ever, theatrical releases of, like, all of Gohan and Piccolo's, like, best moments. Whether it was, like... From previous movies, not just movies. Well, yeah, you could do movies, but you could do like episodes too. Like they showed the like however many episodes of when of during the Cell Saga, or they and they, and they and they showed like you know Piccolo just being Piccolo, you know, training or whatever. Like, in but it was in the movies. People would pay money to see that shit because guess what? They've never done that. That would have been like a big thing. Oh, like never before you could see fucking episodes and other shit that has not been in, in, in North American theaters to hype up superhero. You know, all of us would have been in there. Everybody else would have been in there. They would have made, this is extra extra change for them. But they didn't do that. So that's that's the other thing I wanted to say. I was like, they, they just, they got so lucky. They got so lucky that this name is carrying them big time. They know it is. They, 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 oh, no excuses. They, they cannot say, oh, we had no idea how popular this shit was. Fuck out of here. There's zero, <laughs> zero excuse at this point. Like, I'll be damned, bro. I'll be fucking damned. Like, that shit, that, that, no more. No more. <laughs> never again. Yeah, never again, dude. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>